trading video with your market analyst Adam Kahlberg from Go Markets. Today we are going to be having a look at the Japanese yen and how it's been performing in recent times. So one thing that we do know is that the yen has been um, really weak against some of the major other the other major world currencies, and this has largely been because of the Central Bank of Japan's strong dovish attitude towards inflation. And this is kind of this flies against what the rest of the world has been doing, especially with regards to um, hiking up interest rates. Now, what I've seen or what we can see is that after that initial push up, we've had a, a pullback and a period of consolidation holding on support. So the question is, well, what's next for the Japanese yen or the currencies against it? Is it going to fall back down or is it going to actually show a bit of strength? So today we're going to be having a look at the US dollar, the Australian dollar and the euro and see how they've performed against the yen, just to look at some potential trading ideas. So we'll go into the daily time frame. And what we can see is we'll start off with the US dollar. And as we can see, we've got a nice... Um, We've had this nice push up and we've we had an initial pullback to about the 127 level retested that high at 131 and now we've seen another pullback so really what we'd be looking to see is either a period of consolidation bouncing around this range here um, for a potential break and move back towards the 131 or you know a potential short if we break through that 127 um, range, but as we can see, we've definitely got this um, the support just over here and over here. So as we exit out, we can have a look at the Aussie dollar, and the Aussie dollar has also been one of the stronger currencies in recent times, largely due to its increased commodity prices. So it's actually held up fairly well, and it's a good currency to test it against. So as we can see with the Aussie, we were able to break through um, 95 yen before finding some resistance. Just let's bring up that resistance line, finding some resistance. And we fell, we fell basically back down, not quite hitting the support at 86, but um, pivoting at 80, 87, 80, 88 um, yen. So we've seen this pivot here. We are currently trading under the 50 period moving average which may indicate that we're not going to be able to hold above. Um, but look, we would be looking to break above this period, um, this period, 50 period moving average before going above 95, um, potentially for another swing higher. And lastly, just having a look at the euro. And of course, the euro has probably been the weakest of the Australian, the, Jap um, the US and, the, um, and itself, just because of the uh, Russia and Ukraine crisis. But even the euro saw a lot of strength against the um, Japanese yen. And similar to the other stocks, uh, the other currency pairs, we've got a, a nice swing high at 140. So that's our recent level of resistance um, before coming back down and testing 133. So again, we would be looking for a um, swing back up. Um, for a potential long opportunity, we could do something like this, potentially having our entry at around 135 for a target of 140 and setting our stop just below 132. And that's a pretty good risk reward at three to one. So there you go, guys. Um, just some potential trading opportunities on against the Japanese yen. Hope you've enjoyed the video and good luck trading.